Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today with a preview of the NAB show in Las Vegas, Nevada. It looks like it's going to be another big year for drones, and we're going to be right there in the middle of it. What do you want to see at NAB? Let us know in the comments section below and we'll look into it. Also, click subscribe now to keep up with our coverage from the show floor. Right away you can tell that drones are coming into their own, with a keynote address from Cisco, as well as a super session led by a panel of top aerial cinematographers. The Aerial Robotics and Drones Pavilion will be hosting a number of sessions, including heavy lifter drones, drones in live broadcast, section 333 exemptions, drones on the big screen, drones in corporate video production, as well as a drone racing demonstration from the Aerial Sports League. You know that drones are serious business, because we're the only ones that need to keep our products in cages. Drones are literally front and center in the central hall, Taking a look around, we see a few familiar names. Pro Drone, whom we met earlier this year at CES, the ever colorful Stampede, Gimbal Maker Grenzi, and the retail giant B&H Photo. You actually have to leave the pavilion to find the industry's major players. Multirotor Warehouse has got a big booth, and 3D Robotics has got an even bigger one right across the street. I find this interesting after 3DR was a no-show on the show floor at CES even though their systems tend more towards the consumer than the broadcast professional. So what's going on here? Maybe a big new product announcement? From what I hear, they could certainly use one, but we'll see. Still in the neighborhood, we've got Autel Robotics. We met them at CES, but didn't have time to do a video. That's an oversight we'll definitely remedy on this trip, because they've got some good looking aircraft. A couple of blocks away, we've got Unique and Ehang staring each other down across the aisle. Unique grabbed a lot of attention at CES with the Typhoon H, so I don't think they have any tricks left up their sleeve for this show, but you never know. And of course Ehang blew the roof off CES with their giant manned multirotor, although I heard that actually backfired on them. Everybody was so zeroed in on that thing they completely ignored their new Ghost 2 drone, so it's going to be interesting to see what they showcase here. Walking back past the pavilion, we find the Zerotech booth. Not to be confused with Zero, which makes the Explorer. The name Zerotech has been rattling around the drone industry for a really long time, although I've never seen them or their hardware in person. When you look at the amount of Chinese on their website, even though it's supposed to be the English language version, I guess that isn't too surprising. Still, I'm really excited to see what they bring to the party. We trek to the other side of the hall. The first people we meet are our friends at Freefly Systems. This powerhouse Seattle manufacturer makes the Movi Gimbal and the Alta Hexacopter, and I hear they have something new for us here at the show. One block over, DJI has this enormous booth. I'm guessing that the Phantom 4 will be the big story from them, but it's always a treat to visit DJI because they put so much effort into their booth. Right across the street, we've got sports camera manufacturer GoPro. Once upon a time, DJI and GoPro were best friends back when all of DJI's copters came with GoPro mounts as standard equipment. Today, not so much. DJI now includes built-in cameras with all of their drones, like pretty much every other manufacturer at this point, which has pushed GoPro out of that market. Now, GoPro's getting into the drone business with a platform called Karma. Isn't that another word for payback? Anyway, GoPro seems pretty serious about this new venture, becoming a founding member of the newly established Drone Manufacturers Alliance. It'll be interesting to see if Karma makes a debut at the show. What looks interesting to you at NAB this year? Let us know in the comments section below and subscribe to get updates from the show floor. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.